Okay, hiya guys. This time we're going to be looking at how we can use narratives to help us analyse media texts. And in particular, in this video, we're going to look at props narrative theory and how you can use that to analyse magazine front covers. So, let's make a start. narrative theories to help us analyse media texts. First of all, it's worth pointing out, we don't really use them to create media texts. So I'm not going to research Todorov's theory and then use that to make sure that my media text conforms to that theory. What this is, is it's more being aware of there are different theories about narrative and you can there are different theories about narrative and you can employ these theories to help you better understand the media text that you're looking at. So, for example, we have Todorov's theory and Todorov's theory is that you have a state of equilibrium and then there is a disruption, a recognition of that, an attempt to repair it and then a return to equilibrium. And you could use that theory, for example, to help analyse an advertisement or to help analyse a video game. And it just might help you think what sections you need to look at. Props theory is a little bit different. With props theory, Prop was this guy, a Russian dude, who basically analysed a load of fairy tales and folk tales and realised that most of these stories involved a hero being sent on a quest. So a lot of them revolved around this idea of a quest. And within this theory, Prop identified some character types. Now, the character types change depending on who you're reading and what your research is. They're all different a lot of the time. So for this video, I'm going to be focusing particularly on the AQA Media Studies example because that is what I teach, so that's what I'm going to be sticking to. Right, so within this one, there are seven character types that Prop uses. Number one is the hero, and this is the person who the quest centres around. So it's, it's the main person in the story, the hero. Secondly, you've got the villain. Now, the role of the villain is somebody who's trying to block the hero's progress somehow someone that's standing in the way, or something that the hero has to overcome. Okay. Then you've got the dispatcher. Now the dispatcher is the person who sends the hero on their quest, on their journey. Okay. And it might not necessarily always be a person or a character, it might be an event, but the dispatcher is that character role. You've got the helper, so this is often someone who helps the hero complete their quest. The helper themselves can't complete the quest on their own for whatever reason and that's what makes them the helper rather than the hero. You've got the donor, so with the donor they will give the hero information or an item or they will inform them somehow which allows them to complete that quest. Loads of examples of this, for example um, Batman has a mentor Okay, so Batman is trained by Ra's al Ghul to become Batman. And that's a really good example because these roles can actually change. So although he starts out as a mentor, as a donor, he becomes the villain later on in that story. And, and it's important to be aware of that. These character roles, they're not fixed to a character. 
but more a function that's enabling that narrative. Uh, you've got the damsel in distress. It's quite often as somebody that the hero needs to rescue. And you've got the princess or the prize. And this is often the reward for the hero. In old-fashioned terms, it would be Princess Peach and Mario is going against all of these character types in order to save the day and to rescue Princess Peach. Uh, in modern terms, it could just be a prize or a reward of some sort. Okay, so they're the character types or the character roles and what we can do is we can actually use this theory to help analyse a magazine cover. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so for our magazine cover we're going to look at this issue of Cosmopolitan and we're going to sort of look, first and foremost, this magazine is sending us as a reader on a quest. So the first thing to do, if a question comes up in an exam and it says, um, using props theory, analyse this cover, the first thing to do is you should be thinking quest. So how is this magazine going to send me on a quest? And so our starting point is the mode of address. Let's look for the mode of address and let's figure out where we are being positioned within this magazine. So if I look at this magazine cover, I can see that there are several things. There's verbal and there are non-verbal codes that are telling me this is a direct mode of address. The model on the front is looking directly at me. So that's a direct mode of address. Some of the verbal codes, there's a tagline, get what you really want, make this your year, okay, uh, damn girl, you're on fire, let's have a conversation about your makeup haul. So the use of language here, coupled with the picture, say that this is placing us within the narrative. So we are now a part of this. So once we've established that, we can now start to use some of these character functions to help break this apart. So let's start off then. We've been positioned as a hero. How so? Well, let's have a look. The direct mode of address places us within the narrative and sends us on a quest. So in props theory, the hero is the person who is going on the quest. Therefore, we've been placed as a hero. So who's the dispatcher then? Who's sending us on the quest? Well, if we look at this magazine cover again, you will see um, the blue circle there, okay? Make this year your year. That to me is a dispatcher, okay? So that actual tagline there, dispatches the reader on a quest, okay? It says, make this your year. It's like a call to action to begin your quest, to make this your year. Right, so we're a hero and we're on a quest. We've got our dispatcher, job done. Okay, where's the helper? So there's an article up here that says, hashtag real talk. I accomplished none of my girl goals. Hashtag real talk. I accomplished none of my goals last year. And that's okay. So if we remember the role of the hero, that's somebody who couldn't complete the quest on their own, but they can help the hero complete the quest. So in this sense, they're, su they're suggesting they couldn't complete the quest, they're not the hero, but you can learn from their mistakes or they'll be a shoulder to cry on or an act of support to help you complete your quest. So in this instance, that section, that heading, is acting as a helper. So what other ones have we got? We've got a hero, we've got a helper, and we've got a dispatcher. Let's talk about the donor or the mentor. So the character role of a donor is to give information. There's quite a few of these. We've got add to cart. Let's have a conversation about your makeup haul. Okay, we've got a checklist of achievements. Okay, so you're on fire. Effortlessly cool style, your fittest body ever, the sex page you're secretly dying to try. Okay, so with this, the article relates to a checklist of achievements. Um, it talks about having a conversation with you. It's all about giving you information. It's all about giving you knowledge that you're going to need to succeed in making this your year. Okay, so it's secret information that only the magazine has. And in that sense, it is fulfilling that role of a donor because it's giving you information that you need 
to succeed in your quest. And gain the prize, I suppose. So it's giving you that information you need to gain the prize. And when we talk about the prize, we talk about the princess slash prize. So where is that? Well, the model on the cover acts as an aspirational model. You want to be like her, or perhaps you want to date someone like her. Either way, fulfilling the quest that this magazine is sending you on will allow you somehow to be more like that model. So she's acting as an aspirational prize, if you like, a role model. But there's other things. As well as that, there are verbal codes, and they allude to a slightly more fulfilling lifestyle. You know, a better version of you, the best you can be. And examples of that are, get what you really, really want. Win at life. Win in your career. The success secrets that everyone knows. So that really just leaves then the damsel and the villain. These are a little bit more tricky, a little bit more vague if you like. With the damsel, in this instance, you as the reader could also be the damsel, in need of rescuing from your mundane life, from the life that's not as fulfilling as you want it to be. And in this sense, by going on this quest, you're rescuing yourself. You're going to make yourself the best version you could be. And the same is true for the villain. Although you've been positioned as the hero, in, in a strange way, you've also been positioned as the villain. The role of a villain is someone who stands in the way of the hero. It's someone who stops the hero from achieving their quest. And in this sense, it could be that you have to overcome your own inhibitions to achieve that. It could be that getting what you really want is going to require hard work and moving beyond some barriers that you've put in place yourself. So in that way, you could be positioned as the villain as well. Or the villain could be a lack of knowledge. Things that are stopping you from achieving success that this magazine is going to help you overcome. Okay, so that's this Cosmopolitan magazine analysed using a narrative theory and hopefully that will just help you understand how applying some of these narrative theories to media texts can help you analyse them in a slightly different way to a semiotic analysis. It can help you break it down talking about how it positions the reader, how it's addressing the reader, and how it's sending the reader on a quest. Okay, we're gonna have another go with the Tatler magazine, and this is a close study product for the AQA Media Studies. So if you're watching this for revision, then the next step will be really good. So let's start off positioning of the reader. Okay, so that mode of address is crucial as a starting point. Think about the quest, where are you? Okay, so again, you've got the model on the front, it's a direct mode of address, she's looking directly at us. That's the non-verbal stuff, so are there any verbal codes? Well, we've got the one month gap year, you won't sleep much. Okay, so it's talking to you. Those things coupled together create a direct mode of address, and that positions you within this narrative, you're now part of the quest. So let's look at these character functions, okay? By setting up a quest for the reader, you have been positioned as a hero, okay? And the reward is the fulfilment of this aspirational lifestyle, okay? So the model on the front, again, acts as that aspirational lifestyle, the person you want to aspire to be like, as does some of the taglines and some of the headlines that allude to a millennial Sloan's lifestyle and having lots of fun, doing lots of things, not really worrying about money, mixing with higher class people and just generally having a wonderful time. Okay, so the prize, so the princess and prize, that is alluded to with images of this exotic beauty and it's, it's got language like pearls, posh, sloanes. If, if you're not sure what a sloan is, a sloan is generally an upper class young female and generally living in London, that kind of lifestyle. And the dispatcher sets the need 
which motivates the hero to set out on a quest. So by, by having this aspirational idea of the one month gap year, you won't sleep much but it will be fun. It's sort of dispatching you on this quest to become like a millennial Sloan. Same as the magazine before, the readers, the hero, they could be the villain. They could have to overcome some of their own inhibitions to make it. So they could also be positioned as a villain. And if we look then at the donor, there are lots of articles that are talked about on the front page. Articles that talk about giving you secret information. So their habits, their codes, their mating practices, um, the idea of who's the most invited, who's going to be at the top of the party list, who's at the bottom. So a lot of those things could be considered as the donor because they're giving you information that you need to fulfil the quest of being an aspirational millennial Sloan. I'm sure you could go into a lot more detail about some of these magazine covers and I would advise you to, if you look in the link, then you will find that there are a whole range of resources that I've made available with different magazine covers that all send you on different kinds of quests and they'll be quite handy for you to download and just practice really, especially if you're using this as a revision tool or to learn something because you're studying it at the moment. So follow the link, download the resources and have a go yourself. Okay? Right, thanks very much.